Hello everyone, I am back, and welcome back to the next episode of the Weapon Equipment Tutorial Series. Again, sorry about the delay, there's still a lot of things going on in my life, but I do plan on finishing up this tutorial series. But it might still take a bit of time, and I hope you guys can understand. Without further ado, I'm going to go over what we're going to cover in this episode. So within this episode, I'm going to go over how you can set up a system where you can change between your weapons that you have. So right now, in this system that I have, it's just a sword and an axe and a gray sword. From the previous part of the tutorial, it will be simply try to equip a weapon right now. You will only be able to equip the latest weapons that you picked up. So let me unequip. And then if I try to pick up this axe right now, and if I equip, it will equip the axe. And why is that? Well, that is because we have an implemented system that we could change into different weapons that is on our character. And right now we only have the equip sword um, system implemented. So we'll have to do that for the axe and the gray sword as well. The first thing we can do is we can go and create input actions for our equip gray sword and equip axe. So within my content folder, I'm going to go into my blueprints and input. And within actions, this is where I put all my input actions. And right now you see there we only have an equip sword and we need to make one for the axe, gray sword and axe. So I could right click and then go into input and there's the input action right here. I'm going to create one and then call it IA equip sword, I mean equip gray sword. Like so. And then within there, there's nothing really much you need to change. We just need this to be a digital boolean. And if you want, you can also just simply duplicate the from the equip sword and then rename this as the axe and the gray sword. That works as well since we're they're all using the boolean type. Okay, so now that we have all these three, let's go on to the next step. After you created the input actions for the equip axe and equip gray sword, you have to go back into the input mapping contact here to add in the buttons for the input actions. So right now we have the input action for our equip sword. We'll just make two new ones. Now we'll make the one for the equip gray sword and then add in a new one. We'll make one for the equip axe. And for the key binding, I'm just going to use two for the equip gray sword and then three for the axe right here. And then there's nothing really much you need to add in in terms of the triggers and the modifiers, so you can just leave that as this. And we'll just go ahead and save this instead. Back in our BP third person character, let's go ahead and right click and add in a plain on pot. And then same thing, like over here, we'll link up the character mesh into the end skeletal mesh component. And then grab this gray sword uh, execution into this play montage. And then just duplicate this um, set name for our weapon status. And then within the execution, let's just link that up and then change the status into sword since we are equipping from a gray sword to a sword. So this will have to be the status will change into sword. And on on complete, same thing, we'll just use this. Set this, this switching weapon to false as well, like so. So this is pretty much it for changing into the from the gray sword to the sword. And at a play montage, in order for the montage to play, we'll need to create an animation montage. Because right now we only have these two montage for equip sword and unequip sword. So let's go into the animation folder for our mannequin. Well for me at least. So in animation folders. Since this will be for changing the gray sword into a sword, I'm going to right click on the gray sword unequip and then go into create and then create an animation montage. And I will rename this as. And I changed the name into change gray sword to sword montage. You can have your own sets of things. You don't have to copy me per se. So it's up to you. And let's click into it. Within this um, change gray sword to sword, first I'm going to change the default group into upper body since we just need the upper body animations. And as you can see, it's it's back into a post. Don't be too worried. Or you can you can pretty much just close this out and then open it again 
it'll be able to play the animations again. And now from the Asset Browser, let's just add in a, since we're changing from Grey Sword to Equipping a Sword, we'll need to add in the Equip Sword animation as well. So just simply drag and drop into here. Like that. And then it will add in a Equipped Sword animation. Like so. And this is not done. Where if you remember from the previous part of the tutorial series, we'll need to create notifiers so that we can unequip the great sword and then equip the sword. So in our notifiers, we're gonna find a part where it looks like it's gonna unequip the great sword, like somewhere over here. And then we'll go to this part and then see where the sword will be equipped and then add in a notifier over here so that it can equip the sword as well. And if you don't remember how to do that, or if you haven't watched it, then that's okay. I'll be going over it again. All right, so let's go into our animation notify folder. And if you already have the animation notify for the task sword, you can simply just duplicate that. But if you haven't done any animation notify before, I'll just go over that again. So right click and then go to our blueprint class over here. And add the search here, where I'm, where I'm going to search for anim notify right here. So then just, just select that and then add in a new animation notify. So I'll just rename this as an attach great sword. And let's head into our newly created animation notify. Like before, we will override the, whoops, not add in function, sorry. Let's delete that. We'll override the at receive notify right here. So let's do that. And from the mesh comp over here, let's drag that out and search for get owner. And from the get owner, the return value will do a cast to the third person character, the BP third person character right here, and link the execution to the cast. And if you remember from the previous part in our third person character, we made a variable for the gray sword and axe. So what is attached gray sword right here? We'll, we'll go ahead and find our gray sword variable get gray sword right here. And first things first, we're going to check if this gray sword is valid with the question mark here. So wrap that into the execution. And if it's valid, then we'll do our attach to sword um, function. And if it's not valid, then we'll, we won't do anything. So next from the gray sword over here, let's drag this out and place a new node. And we're going to do the attach to character function. Put that into the as valid. And here we'll need to update our socket name for to attach the gray sword into the correct socket that we have. And since our variable we have the attached to um, equipment and attached to hand um, variable before from before when we create the created the weapons blueprint with the base weapon. We could grab this out again and then search for attach to unequipped right here and then I'm going to do another attach to equip oops I lost it oops attach to actually it's called attached to hand my bad yeah so I'm going to get that attached to hand as well so from here we'll need to find a way to figure out which um, socket that the gray source should be attached to so I'm going to right click and then search for a select node right here. And the select node is pretty much just, it will select with, um, whichever um, variable it has over here, it will select an option zero or option one, and you can also add in more if you need to. So for this, I'm going to use a Boolean variable. And then if this variable is false, I'm going to do it attached to unequip. So, and if it's true, then I'll attach the, the Gray sort into the hand socket. And then we'll link up the return value into the socket name right here. And for the variable, we'll need to create a Boolean within this animation notifier. So in the variables, I'm going to do an add and then keep this as a Boolean. And I'll rename this as attach. Drag this into our blueprint over here. So if the attached is true, then we'll attach it to the hand. And if it's attached is false, then we'll attach to the unequipped socket. 
pretty straightforward. And the last thing we'll need to do is to put this execution into the return node. And we don't need, really need a return value, so we can just leave that as is right there. So this will be the logic that we have inside our animation notifier for our attached square sword. And we'll do the same thing for the axe as well. And if you already have the animation, um, if you have the animation notified for the attach, so we can just pretty much duplicate that and change the weapon variable into the gray sword. And speaking of the animation notify, let's just um, click into it. You can see that we have the pickup weapon here as the variable right now, because that's because in the previous tutorials, we only implemented a system for one weapon, so we only needed uh, the pickup weapon instead. But right now, since things have changed, so we need to update this variable as well. So let's just drag out from here and then do a search for a get sword. And we'll just update all these into the sword instead of the pickup weapon. So let me link that up to all of the nodes here. And we can delete this pickup weapon. Like so, and compile and save. All right, and for the gray sword, I'm going to compile and save as well. So right now we have the attached sword and the attached gray sword, and we need to do one for the axe as well. So instead of going over and redoing everything, we can simply just duplicate from the gray sword or the sword, and then I'm going to rename this as the axe. And if I open this axe. You might not see anything over here, but all you need to do is to double click on the receive notify right here. And then the blueprint will be, you can see the blueprint. So from here, great sword, I'm gonna delete that and then do a search for the get at. And then same thing, I'm gonna relink these into all these nodes. Like so. And we'll compile and save. And there you go, we have all the animation notified for our axe and our great sword. Now let's go back into our animation montage for our change from great sword to sword. Oh, I think I missed my name over there, huh? Sorry about that, didn't notice that I named my stuff wrong. But anyways, back in our change great sword to sword right here. We'll look for a timing where we will make the animation notify for our attached gray source. So somewhere around frame 24, I'll see here. So I'm just going to go in and head and add a animation notify for the attached gray sword. And then from over here, from the attached sword, equip sword, somewhere around frame 74, I'm going to add in a animation notify for our attached sword. Right here and for the for the attach right here we'll make it into true so then we can attach the sword onto the hand of our character and for the attached sword here um i forgot since we didn't make the variable a public variable so that's why we don't see the attached variable right here so let's go back into our animation notify and do that a bit and make that change so back in our attached right here i'm just going to make this as open to make the variable public so we can edit in other places as well, compile and save. And we need to do that for the attach for the axe as well. So let's open that up as well. So if we go back into our change gray sword to sword and we click on our attached gray sword notifier, we can see that the attached variable is now visible to us in this animation montage. And we'll, we will leave this attached as false because we don't want um, the axe to be attached to our hand of our character anymore. So we'll just leave it as false. So let's save that and then go back into our third person character blueprint. Now we can add in our newly created change gray sword to sword montage right here. And we'll do that for the axe as well. So we can pretty much just duplicate this and paste it. And then I'm going to link this execution into the display montage. And from here, we'll just need to create a montage again for the axe. So let's go ahead and do that. So in animations, I'm going to search for axe unequip and then create this as a new montage. Rename this. That's the correct name. All right, so change axe to sword, montage. 
All right, let's open that up. So from the X, from previously what we did, same thing. We will go ahead and grab our sword equip animation and then just push put this into our montage. So we have the unequipped X animation and the equipped sword animation. And since we already have the notify um, made and done already, let's find a spot where it, it, it will unequip the X. So somewhere in, let's say, frame 15 or 16. I'm going to add in the notify for attached X and then leave this as attached um, variable as false. And then I'll go into the equip sword animation here and then search for a place where the sword will be equipped so somewhere in frame 67 let's say and then i'll add in the attached sword notifier over here and then put this as the true for the attach and save that and let's go back into our third person character blueprint and change this montage into our change axe to sword montage compile and save and that will be it for our section for our sword, equip sword, right here. And we'll do the same thing for the equip gray sword as well. So let's, let me just tidy this up a bit. So the next step is to duplicate all these stuff and use that for our gray sword and our axe. And we'll just change a bit of the variables here so then we can do that. So let's go ahead and grab all these and then I'll do a copy and then move these down a bit more. I'll do a paste. And I'll just link that up to the start as well. And if you want, you can um, grab all these and press a C to make a comment. So then you know that this is for the sword and then this is for the gray sword and that will be for the axe. So I'll just go ahead and change the comment name into equip sword, like that. And then for this section, I'll do a equip blade sword, like that. And if you want, you can also change the color as well. So here you go. Okay, so from here we'll, we'll have some things we got to change. And actually this pickup weapon should be changed into um, a different variable. So this should be, we should check for the get gray sword instead. So we're going to check if we have the gray sword instead of the pickup weapon. So let's do that. Then we'll have to do the same for the pickup weapon here. Um, let's change that into a sword. So get sword. And then check that if it's if the sword is valid or not. All right. And then all these we don't have to change, but on the weapon status, at least, uh, we're going to check if Grey Sword is going to be the one that we'll have to check to, in order to be unequipped or unequipped. If you want, you can change the order of this for yourself to make more sense of what your code is going to be. And if not, you can also leave it as is. I'm just going to change the order so I know that this will be the gray sword. So I'm going to change the gray sword into index one. And then move these two around. So then it'll be in the designated places. So give me a moment. All right. Now we can change the montage for the sword because right now we're just using the equip sword and unequip sword montage. And also we need to change the weapon status um, name for our gray sword. So from here, let's just change this for now. Let's change this into gray sword. Since this part is going to be the gray sword. And once we have the gray sword equipped, we will change the weapon status into none. So bring that into none. And then this one will change from the none into gray sword, like so. So it's gonna match what what is what it's up here right here. So yeah, so it's sword none sword sword. We're gonna do the same thing: gray sword none gray sword gray sword. 
Wait, sorry. All right. Now for the animation montage, we have to make new ones for it. And so let's start out with um, making the animation montage for the unequip gray sword and equip sword. So go ahead and right click on the gray sword equip and then do a create animation montage. And let's head into it. So this is the equip animation for the gray sword, right? So at around um, frame 17 or 16, we will attach the gray sword onto our hand of our character. So let's add in a multiply for our attached gray sword and then put this attached variable as true. Save that. And then head back to our unequipped over here. Let's create a animation montage and go into this montage and then find a place where it will unequip the gray sword around frame 24, let's say, and then add in our animation notify for our gray sword. And we'll leave this as attached as false. So we can just simply save this. All right. And now when it's none, which meaning there's nothing on hand, we can change this into equipped gray sword montage right here and then when it's when you're trying to unequip the gray sword we can change this into the unequipped gray sword montage right here and for the montage for the sword and the axe it's the same thing as what we did just before with the sword area right here so from the unequipped sword let's see where is it uh, here, from am on sort, I'm going to create a new montage. All right, so change sword to gray sword montage. Same thing, open that up. This is the animation for unequipping sword. I will grab the equipped gray sword animation. That's wrong. That is unequipped. Where's my equip? Oh, here it is. Yep, add that in. And then make the default group into the upper body as well. Just remember to do that. And I, I actually, I think I forgot to do that for the change to X to gray sword as well. So let me open that up. Yeah, I forgot to do that for here as well. So let me just change this slot into the upper body as well. Yep. All right, so we have that upper body. This is also upper body. And the newly created one is also the upper body. Okay, so at frame around 36, we'll add in the notify for our attached sword, make this as false. And then for the gray sword, we'll make this around 65. Add a notify gray sword and then make this as true. Save that. And we'll do that the same thing for the axe as well. So with the unequipped axe right here, we'll make another new animation montage. And I'm just gonna copy, copy this and then yep, paste this and then just change this into great sword. My bad. Oh, here we go. So with this, we have the unequipped um, axe. And then I'm gonna drag in the equipped gray sword right here. Oops, right here, like that. And then within this, I'm gonna change this into the upper body again. And if you wanna refresh it, just re-click onto the montage and then add frame around 17. Add in a animation modify for the attach act, leave it as false. And add around frame 64, add another animation montage for the gray sword and then add that as true. The attach as true, save that. Back into our third person character, let's switch the montage here from sword unequipped into sword to gray sword right here. 
and from the axe from from the axe to sword let's change it to axe to great sword and then we will compile and save and with that we should be able to equip the great sword now as well so we could do a little test play test and see if it works so i'm going to add in my sword and add in my great sword I press one that would do the great the sword right and unquip and then if i press two we will do the great sword right and if i want to switch into sword it will do play the animations for the changing from great sword and to sword and if i press two again it will change from the sword to great sword so that's working and we have a slight bug over here with the running around while you were trying to equip the sword as well with the great sword so that's what we'll have to fix all right so the reason why the legs are not working when i'm unequipping and equipping the great sword is because i didn't set the slot groups into the upper body as well so let's change that go to the slot name and then change this into the default group dots upper body like so and then for the a gray sword over here unequipped gray sword over here let's do that for it as well so just remember with their with their equipping weapons animation change everything into the upper body instead of the default so i need to double check if everything is true as well just like that okay okay and okay. all right now we'll just save do a save all for everything just save that and right, now if i play the animation the leg should be moving so that's the bug so with that bug fix just remember to always double check your things that you're doing and then test your game out and see if there's any bugs now that we have the gray sword part done we can head on and do the axe as well so if you want to do it this by yourself feel free to do so you can pause this um, video and then just do it everything by yourself first and if there's any mistakes you can come back to and look at it but if not i will guide you guys through again like how to do everything again so same thing as before i'm just gonna take all these and just copy and paste it right here and then link that up to start it now from here i'm going to change the gray sword into axe so let's search for get axe and then link that up to the input object right here leave all these the same and from here i'm going to change the order from the for the weapon status on the switch on main again so I'm going to change this into axe onto the index one and gray sword and sword should, could be any way you like i'm just going to leave this as gray sword and sword um next actually i should probably just comment this as well do a comment and then do a split axe for the comment change the color of it and then we will change the ordering of this too right so and we'll work on the set for our weapon status first from gray sword since it's going to be axe i'm going to change them to axe and then if we already have the axe then we should change the status into none so let's change that into none and then this one the rest it will be axe and that also will be axe like so and next is the uh, we got to make the montage for our equipped and unequipped axe so within our mannequins folder animations let's go ahead and change add in the montage for equip axe let's go into this montage and then change this thought into upper body and replay this animation around frame 19 actually frame 20 let's do frame 20 
Around frame 20, we will add in the animation notify for the attached axe and then make that as attached as true. Save that, go back into our animations folder and then make one for the animation montage for the unequipped axe. Okay, so again, I'm gonna make this into a upper body and replay this montage so I can see the animation playing. And then at around frame, yeah, let's do frame 14 since this will be more um, in line with the position of the axe when it's unequipped. So let's do that and then attach, add in it. Notify for the attached axe. Leave that as false. Save that. We'll make the same montages for the change from sword to axe and great sword to axe as well. So from let's start out with the unequipped sword right here. Great sword actually. Unequipped great sword. Create another montage and then rename this. All right. So change great sword to axe montage. Same thing. Make this as the upper body. Replay the montage again, and then search for a place where the gray sword will be unequipped. So around 25. Add in a attached gray sword notifier, and leave that as false. And then we'll add in the equipped axe into our animation here, and then. Do a modify around over at 67 frame and add in our attached axe. Put that as attached to save that. And we'll make one for the sword as well. Change sword to axe montage. Go in here, change this into upper body. We'll add in the equipped axe. Right, and then around this frame, let's say, add in our attached sword and leave that as false. Go into our equipped around frame 70. Let's add in our animation level 5 for axe and then put that as attached. Save that. Actually, I'll just save all. And then go back into our third person, third person character. From here, let's change our animation montage, right? This is going to be equipped the axe montage. That is going this from, from the axe is going to be unequipped axe. So we're going to do the axe unequipped montage. And from the great sword, we're going to change from great sword to axe. And for the sword, we'll do the change from sword to axe. Sword to axe right here. All right, now we'll just compile and save. And we can go and test it out. Let's pick up our sword, axe, and great sword. If I press on axe, you will see that we are playing the equipped axe animation. And we want to change it to great sword. It will change into great sword. And sword, if I want to change the axe, it all works. It's playing the animations that I wanted to play. All in all, this is how you would change your animations for equipping and unequipping other weapons. And one thing you can do if you want to change the speed for, of the animation that's playing, you can change it in the in the play montage. There's a play rate you can change. And I'm going to use the sword as the example. So let's say for the speed for changing from gray sword to sword, I think it's a bit too slow. Let me just up that into Play rate as two. And then let's say for the axe, I want it to be even faster. Let's just do four for the sake of testing and compound save. So let's test that out if we change the play rate. It will essentially just um, make the animation be played faster. So let me equip the sword. And then let me change into the gray sword. It's everything is. Um, set at play rate one or there but then if i want to change from gray sword to sword you can see that the animation is a lot faster so let me change into axe and from the axe i'm going to change into sword 
you can you can see that it's it's really fast so so yeah if you want to change the pacing of how fast your weapons are changing then you can play around with the play rate of the montage and that's an option they could do to tweak your animations so right now our combat stands are all, all just playing the same running animations so in a future episode i will go over how you can interchange the animation for the axe and for the great sword and the sword all of these weapons have their own form of running so look forward to that and again i'm sorry for the big delay just parsing through a lot of things in my life right now. I will keep working on this and I do plan on finishing up this tutorial series. You might still have to wait a bit in between episodes since I need to find the time to work on this. With all the stuff that's happening right now, I apologize again and please look forward to the next episode. Thank you so much and thank you for watching. Hope you guys learned something new and as always, never stop learning.